welcome back to Off the Wire. Up next, we have a very special guest from the Coconut Grove Juggling Exchange. We have Buddha Juggles. Please welcome him now. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Are, are those your balls? That's a terrible question. I'm sorry. I had to start with that. Well, a typical juggling joke is that it takes balls to juggle. So. <laughs> Everyone take note the next time you encounter a juggler. It takes balls to juggle. Yes. But I have to ask you first about your name. So is your name Buddha and because you juggle your Buddha juggles? Or what's the origin of that? Um, Buddha came from, I was just a really fat, dorky kid when I, <laughs> when I first came to the States. And I think it was kind of a kind way of, I hung out with a lot of older people to make sure that my nickname didn't become something, like I wasn't picked on or something. It was, it was a weird thing. It was kind of like they did me a solid, gave me a cool nickname from when I was young. Oh, cool. Where did you yeah. come from, by the way? Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah. Awesome. And um, so you're a juggler, but you define yourself as like an improv juggler? Yeah, yeah. I mostly, I don't practice a routine. I don't, part of the joy of juggling for me is embracing chaos in a way or whatever, so. That's cool. Like I told you earlier, I see it kind of just like as improv or something. Improv, yeah. so just you kind of just throw and see what happens. How does that work? You just <laughs> practice everything you could think of practicing and hope your brain reacts to whatever's happening. And that's okay. about it. That is a dangerous hobby, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> and so do you, you juggle on campus sometimes? Yeah, we're here every Thursday for I don't know how long. I, I don't remember every time they tell me what I'm supposed to say. I forget. But I know it's been <laughs> at least 10 years or more that there's been jugglers here every Thursday. And I actually used to skate here for years, too. So I've kind of been hanging out in this campus for like 10, 15 years or something. Well, I know that I've passed you at night before. Like any students here, you've yeah. seen them in the breezeway practicing. And we're all there sometimes to two in the morning, and everybody's really happy to teach and whatever. It's very grassroots. And wow. Could anyone yeah. come up to you and just ask to learn how to juggle? Is it like a free call? We, we like to tell people we can get them to juggle in five minutes. And I would say about 80% of the time it happens. Wow. I, I may be there like next week. I've and sometimes learned. within 10 minutes, I mean, it depends on your body and IQ or whatever. Some people get a lot of stuff really fast. And what made you start to juggle? Because you said you didn't juggle before when we spoke previously. Oh, uh, it was like an ego, selfish thing. I was competing with a friend of mine, and I just wanted to be better than him just for kicks. <laughs> and, and then it just kind of took over, and I enjoy it. I find that it's kind of sustainable. I used to play the music, and I quit for juggling because I don't need an amp anymore. I don't need electricity anymore. I don't... It's like, it's just you and yeah, balls, it's a freedom you know? thing. I mean, it's totally what it is. It's just me and my balls, really, exactly. That's it. Hey, if, if a fallout happened tomorrow, I could just get three rocks and just, I like, I like the kind of animalistic kind of thing about it. Oh, fantastic. All right, well, he's going to juggle for us, actually. So we'll be right back with more Off the Wire with a special performance by Buddha Juggles.